10, built around you. Ahead at 10, the Keys, convicted on dozens of counts of animal cruelty, say they've changed. Why they say they deserve to regain custody of a child taken from their filthy home. Plus, a bus brawl caught on tape. What brought these women to blows? I'm live from Shield 60 meteorologist Ethan Houston. We could not shake the dreary weather again. I'll let you know on the full forecast coming up. Okay, thanks, Ethan. We're going straight to some breaking news right now. Firefighters are on the scene of a fire at an apartment complex for the elderly and disabled in South Jackson. It's at the Apple Manor Apartments on Joanne Street, and 16 WAPT's Catherine Kite is there for us now. Catherine, what can you tell us? Well, Megan, I want you to look behind me right here. You can see people are still standing out here. They're letting some people keep you posted on this. Let's send it back to you in the studio, Megan. All right, Catherine, thank you so much. And we're, of course, going to keep checking on the conditions of those folks who were transported to the hospital. And we'll have more information for you on this story as it becomes available. Well, they're accused of keeping dead pets in the freezer, abusing 30 animals, and neglecting their four-year-old son. But tonight, the Pearl couple living in a home covered in animal feces is fighting to get their child back. Many and Paula Keys pled no contest to animal cruelty and child neglect charges last week, and now they're focused on winning custody of the child. Today, the couple sat down exclusively with 16 WAPT's Catherine Kite to give their side of it all. Benny and Paula Keys, Catherine Kite, 16 WAPT News. Now the Keys are expected in youth court next week on the 20th, and Pearl City officials are making plans right now to demolish the couple's old home. Well, some restaurants in Flowood saw huge booms this weekend. This was the first weekend any restaurant in Rankin County could sell liquor by the glass. We stopped by the El Sombrero earlier. The owner tells us margarita sales are through the roof already. In fact, one guy told us he drove over from Raymond for a Sunday drink. The change that uh, should have come some time ago allows them to make some more money and increase their profit off of drinks. Now, the El Sombrero's owner guessed the restaurant doubled its sales this week. Seven restaurants in Flowood now have liquor licenses. In June, 75% of Flowood voters approved wine and liquor to be sold by the glass. To our continuing coverage of the Carly Hughes trial now, this week the jury could begin deliberating the fate of the former JPS teacher. Hughes is accused of murdering Avis Banks, her lover's pregnant fiancé. Here's a look back at some key moments in the courtroom. Through six days of testimony... Now here's a look at what's next in the Carla Hughes trial. Court resumes tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. in Canton. Hughes' attorney says he has one more witness to call. And then, of course, Hughes could also testify if she chooses. Then closing arguments will begin. Don't forget, you can follow the latest developments on the case on our website, WAPT.com. And we will, of course, be updating you from the courtroom on Twitter. Our username, username there is 16WAPT News. To Washington now, where thousands of gay and lesbian activists marched to the U.S. Capitol today. They're calling for President Obama to keep his promise to end anti-gay discrimination in the office and on the battlefield. Here's ABC's Rachel Martin. Rachel Martin, ABC News, Washington. Ahead at 10, deadly mistaken identity. What happened when a man mistook his fiance for an intruder? Plus... Is this seat taken? What brought these women to blows on a San Francisco city bus? Overcast, gloomy, and rain staying to the north of the capital city for tonight, but we will hold rain in the forecast for Monday. Warmer for the start of the work week, but what about the weekend? Is there a cool down? We'll let you know coming up. You're watching 16 WAPT News at 10 with Megan West. Sports with Brittany Deal and live storm shield 16 weather with meteorologist Heather Sophia. This is 16 WAPT News at 10 built around you. Horrible case of mistaken identity in Florida this weekend. A man shot someone he thought was an intruder in his house and it turned out to be his fiance. The story tops our look at news across the country tonight. 62-year-old Nancy Didensmore died just a day before her wedding. Her fiancé told investigators he thought she was asleep in bed next to him. Take a listen to this. His frantic 911 call when he realized the person he shot was his girlfriend. And is she conscious right now, yes or no? I see God, she looks dead. No, she's breathing. She's breathing. Okay. Hang in there, honey. Hang in there. Now, Densmore died at a hospital in Florida. Police say it's unlikely the man will face any charges. 
Now take a look at this. A fight between two women on a San Francisco bus is lighting up YouTube this weekend. Another passenger recorded this whole thing on his cell phone. There you see it. They go to blows. The man who recorded the video says one woman was mad because the other one was taking up two seats on the bus. And believe it or not, this video has landed the driver of this bus in trouble, not these two women. See, the driver never reported the fight on the bus as required by his company policy. His supervisor found out when he saw this video on YouTube. Now an investigation's underway, and that driver could lose his job. This is a live Storm Shield 16 weather update. Good evening, folks. Ethan Houston in for Heather this morning. Seeing some sunshine. We'll hold on for that. Thanks, right. Ethan. When we come back, trying to stay recession free, we'll show you how to save the fashionable way. We're back in just two minutes. Welcome back. If you're a serious shopper, chances are you've changed your spending habits lately. We found the lagging economy has slowed down big spenders lately, but what about people trying to stay recession free? In tonight's Project Economy, 16 WAPT's Danielle Strauss set out to find out how to save a buck while looking good. Despite more people... Danielle Strauss with that report. Now, some other tips. Always make sure you check out the store flyer. Keep an eye out for sales on patterns. And always check out the dollar bins. Well, sometimes football just isn't that important. Tonight, the tragedy USM is dealing with off the field. Brittany is back when we come back. Now, 16 Sports with Brittany Deal. Good evening. Sad news tonight for Golden Eagle Nation, USM. Reporting from Oxford, I'm Ray Coleman, 16, WAPT Sports. Muggy temperatures staying above seasonal average. Rain in the morning hours for mo most people above I-20. All right, thank you so much for watching tonight. Make sure to wake up with Brad and Sharita in the morning. Have a great night, everybody.